good morning student now last video we are discussing our fifth unit yoga yoga means union of atma with parmatma means union of soul means atma with parmatma god and elements of yoga there are eight elements of yoga with the help of purifications of mind and body for the union of union of atma and parmatma we can achieve through purifications of body and mind for this the purifications of body purifications of body and mind can be uh, can be achieved uh, can be achieved through this eight elements of yoga that is yam niyam asan pranam pratihar dharna dhyan and samadhi these are the eight elements of yoga for the purifications of body and mind which help to achieve union of atma with parmatma asan asan are categorized into three part that is culture asans meditative and relaxative asans and therapeutic asans let's discuss about common yoga asan asan is the third uh, asan is the third elements of yoga asan is a slow stretching exercise trikon asan trikon asan it is also known as triangular triangular pose in this uh, we try to touch the uh, we try to touch the hand to the foot and the other's hand is rise up and look upward trikon asan helps to improve the trunk and leg flexibility reduce the obesity cure acidity neck spondylitis lordosis and scoliosis problem and the persons suffering from severe shoulder pain should avoid this asan next is god asans this asan um it is balancing it is balancing positions on one leg and your hand should be uh, one leg is roll over the others while the hand are also roll over one and others it will improve the flexibility strength coordinative ability increase the muscle muscle tone helps to improve the balance cure arthritis and bow leg and next is a chakrasan and the persons with the knee knee problem should avoid this asan art chakrasan art chakrasan means first uh, first you have to stand straight and slowly uh, slowly go back benefit it help to improve the flexibility of the spine reduce the uh, fats around the waist cure abdominal spondylitis spondylitis uh, scoliosis and bow leg and the persons who have severe back pain should not avoid this asan brix asan brix asans also known as tree posture means balancing the body in one foot while the other's leg is flat resting on the other's leg improve the balance improve the balance increase the uh, strength of the leg cure asthma knock knee knock knee means when your knee touch each others by performing the tr uh, trikon asans it's have to it's have to cure prevent knock knee contraindications the persons with knee this location should avoid it ust asan ust asan also known as kamet pose first you have to sit in a vajrasan and then slowly bend backward while the chest is rise up improve 
flexibility, improve the leg and abdominal cavity, cure arthritis and sciatica, uh, uh, increase the strength of the back and shoulder muscles, cure kyposis, kyposis, um, kyposis, in kyposis, your spine bend uh, forward. So, by performing the us asans, it's help to prevent kyposis. Contraindications: the persons suffering from severe back pain should avoid this asan. Next is Akran Dhanu Asan. Um, Dhanu Asans. First, this you have to sit down with your leg stressed then one leg is stressed near the ears try to touch your uh, your leg to the uh, to the ear and the other's leg is whole holding the other's leg straight cure gastric problems helps to improve the strength of the leg improve the flexibility of the leg and also helps in coordination Benefit diabetes problems and the persons having knee problems should avoid this asan. Earth must in the asan. In earth must in the asans. Um, in earth mustration as a, it is a cross leg sitting. One leg is placed over the others so that the foot touch the opposite hip and you have to look backward. The persons first is, is improve the flexibility, flexibility of spinal flexibility, saves the body, cures weight. It helps to cure the weight, control the weight, obesity, back and norm, uh, abdominal muscles. It helps to improve the strength and tone up, increase glandular functioning, cure disease, arthritis, kyposis. Lodosis, Ascolosis and Bolic and the persons suffering from back pain, knee pain etc. should avoid this asan. Gomuk uh, asan. Gomuk asans first sit down with a cross leg and one hand is right. Mm, right. The hand are held at the back of the shoulders where one elbow is rise up and uh, and pull the others ek hat ko upar and dusre hat ko niche se try to touch the hand cure neck problems cure kyposis round shoulders and uh, also improve the strength and the flexibility and the person suffering from severe shoulder problems should avoid this asan Pawan Muktasan. Pawan Muktasans first lie down in supine positions, then bend your knee and then try to touch your knee with the nose. Apne knee ko nose se touch karana hai. Its benefit it good positions for the weight control obesity helps to relieve from back pain, gastric problems, diabetes constipations etc and the person suffering from severe back pain should avoid this bhujang asan bhujang asan is also known as cobra pose for this first lie down in proline positions first you have to lie down in proline positions then start rising your upper body part slowly rise your upper body part without uh, without the support of the hand and look upward improve the benefit is improve digestive functions cure cold cold bronchials problem kyposis uh, obesity knee spondylitis etc and the persons suffering from severe back pain um, hurria should avoid to do this self asan Self asans, also known as snail pose. In this, first lie down in proline positions, then slowly rise your lower body part. Increase the strength of the leg, 
cure digestive problems, increase abdominal strength, etc. And the persons having severe back pain, uh, hernia, should avoid this asan. Next is Dhanuasan. Dhanuasan, also known as bow pose. First, lie down in so, um, lie down in proline positions, and then uh, hold your, your leg with the hand. From lying position, the upper and the lower back is rise up, and the support the hand whereas the hand hold the ankles. And balance your body. It increases the body flexibility, cure kyphosis, ascolosis, digestive problems. And the persons who have severe back pain should avoid this. Must uh, asan. Must asan. First sit down uh, in a vajrasan. Then slowly, uh, then slowly go back and touch your head with the floor. Touch the floor while the person try to look uh, downwards and remain uh, and the uh, hands remains on the leg. It's improved the strength, increase the strength of the leg, increase flexibility, save the lower back, especially buttock, cure knock knee. And the person suffering from back pain, knee problems should avoid this asan. Halasan. Halasans. First, you have to lie down in supine positions and slowly rise your lower body part and touch the surface behind the head. Benefit is back and shoulders muscle are improved. Gastric problems, digestive problems, improve the neck muscles, uh, neck muscles, the strength of the neck muscles improve. Control obesity, cure back problems, etc. And the person suffering from neck, uh, neck problems, shoulders problems, should avoid this asan. Next is Chakrasan. Chakrasan's breast pose. In this asans, the body is lifted up. You have to lift your uh, lift your body while the hands and feet are touching the ground. Increase the flexibility. It will increase the flexibility of the spine and tone of the muscles of the body, cure kyphosis, improve digestive problems, constipations, gastric problems, etc. And the people suffering from back pain, shoulders, etc. should avoid this asan. Sirs asan. Sirs asan means balancing the body on the head. You have to balance your body on the head and supported by the hand. Prevent cold, cough, relief from headache. Improve the memory. Delay the aging because the blood is supplied to your uh, face. Uh, improve the eyesight. And the persons having neck problems, high blood pressures, should avoid this asan. Next is Viprit, uh, vip, uh, viprit Karmi. Viprit Karmi, reverse pose. In which first lie down in supine positions and slowly rise your hip upward. A wildest hand provides support near the hips. And weight of the body should rest on the shoulders. Improve headache. Improve the memory. Increase thyroid efficiency. Cure cold, cough. Delay in aging. Improve the eyesight. And the person suffering from neck spondylitis, high blood pressures, etc. should avoid this asan. Pranayam. Meditations and Yogic Kriya Benefit Pranayam is the fourth stage of yoga after asan. Yam, Niyam, Asan and Pranayam. So Pranayam is the fourth stage, fourth 
elements of yoga. The word pranayam is derived from the Sanskrit word which means breathing, breathing air as a power of life. Thus, pranayams are systematic rhythmic controls of breathing to provide a deep effect over the individuals. Pranayam are systematic breathing activities in which inhale, exhales and holding of breath that is inhale means purak, exhale, rechak and kumbak means holding the breath. There are various types of pranayam based on this process of inhale, exhale and holding of breath. So pranayam, pranayam means Controlling and regulations of breath. It is a systematic and rhythmic controls of breathing. Controlling the breathing. Pranayam is derived from the pranayam. It is a combination of two words. Prana and ayam. Prana means vital force. Life of breath. Breath is the life of a person. So prana means vital force or life of breath. And Ayam means controlling over prana. So, pranayam means controlling of vital force by concentrations and regulations of breathing. Let's discuss some pranayam. First, anlom vilom. In this, this anlom vilom is given wrong. Okay, anlom viloms. Anlom Vilom, first we inhale, we inhale from the, from the nose, we inhale from right nose or left nose, first inhale from the left nose and then exhale from the right nose and then inhale from the right nose and then exhale from the left nose, this is Anlom Vilom, first inhale Inhale from right nose and exhale from left nose. Then we inhale from left nose and then exhale from right nose. This is Anlom Vilom Pranayam. The benefit of Anlom Vilom is it cure cold, cough, asthma, headache, reduce the stress, relax from breathlessness, regulate body temperatures, helps in meditation. Next is Surya Bhedan Pranayam. It is same as Anlom Vilom, but the difference is in Surya Bhedan Pranayam, we hold the breathing. If we hold the breath, it is a long inhale, long inhale from left nose, stop it for some time and then exhale from right nostril and vice versa. First, inhale from left nose. Hold it for some time and then exhale from right nose. Then inhale from right nose. Hold for some time and then exhale from left nose. This is the process to do Surya Bhedan Pranayam. And the benefit are it cure cold, cough, asthma, headache, reduce the stress, relax from breathlessness, helps to control Regulate the body temperatures, helps in meditations, etc. Ujjay Pranayam In this pranayam, the frictional sound with vibrations are produced from not throat. Produced from uh, produced, uh, produced from throat while exhaling from the from the nose okay this is written wrong in this pranayam the frictional sound with vibrations are produced from the throat while exhaling from the uh, while exhaling from the uh, from uh, exhaling from the uh, nose make a sort first make a sort exhale In Ujjay Pranayam, 
it is also given wrong in this pranayam the frictional sound with vibrations are produced from the throat while exhaling exhaling from nose in this first make a short exhale okay first make a short exhale and then start start inhaling start inhaling slowly and making making uh, making making a long un unbroken uh, inspirations and make a frictional sound on the throat this is ujjayi pranayam make a first make short ex uh, exhalations and then slowly inhale inhale slowly and rhythmically in short in one long unbroken inspirations and allow the air to pass through the throat making the creating a frictional sound and continue inhale continue inhale till the sense of the fullness is felt to the chest sitli pranayam in sitli pranayam it is a forceful inhale from the mouth with mouth with tongue in sitli pranayam first make make the tongue uh, the tongue is shape like a o make the tongue o shape between your lips and then make a forceful inhale from the mouth and the benefit are it provide cold feeling to the body cure dry cough asthma regulate the body temperatures etc sitkari pranayam it is a forceful inhale from the mouth while the lips are open wide whereas the teeth are closed just like this in this you have to open your lips close your teeth and make a long inhale it's give the smoothing and cold feelings and cure dry cough asthma and regulate the body temperatures during summer bhamri pranayam means exhaling it is a exhaling process with vibration sound from the throat you have to exhale uh while making vibration sound from the throat like a honey you have to make a sound from the throat like a honey bee the benefit are it cure cold cough helps in meditations reduce stress give smoothing effect over the mind kapal bharti kapal bharti in this first do a long inhale long inhales and then forceful exhale is done while making um forceful exhale is done from the nose with the pressures while the pressures is vibrate in and out means in kapal bharti first you have to do a long inhales first long inhales and then you have to exhale you have to make a forceful exhale from your mouth keeping your stomach in and out just like this first inhale take a long inhale and then exhale slowly slowly exhale and slowly exhale making the stomach in and out it regulate um it cure problems like cold cough asthma digestive problems obesity etc it's have to uh, improve the strength of your abdominals reduce the obesity etc it regulate glandular functioning thus the body functions properly suddhi kriya suddhi kriya yogi kriya we do kriya to clean the body internally by doing the kriya it helps to clean the body internally like nauli kriya jal neti sutra neti 
ववन धोती वस्त्र धोती तारतक एक्सेट्रा दिस आर द क्रिया विच वी डू फॉर फॉर बॉडी क्लीनिंग द बॉडी इंटरनली मेडिटेशंस लेट डिस्कस अबाउट मेडिटेशंस एंड कॉन्ट्रेशन मेडिटेशन इट्स अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग एंड रेगुलेटिंग द माइंड एंड इट्स एक्टिविटी ओके मेडिटेशन मेडिटेशंस मींस कंट्रोलिंग एंड रेगुलेटिंग द माइंड एंड इट्स एक्टिविटी इट इज अ वेरी पावरफुल एट इट्स स्टेबलाइज मेडिटेशंस हेल्प टू स्टेबलाइज द माइंड इन अ प्रॉपर डायरेक्शंस it's help to keep the mind stable it relax from the stress tension etc meditation is performed in a relaxative asanas whereas pranayam helps in meditation process to control the breathing concentration and meditation meditation in meditations you allow your all sense organs to work at their fullest okay meditations in meditations you allow all your sense organs to work at their fullest it about living living in the present living in the present moment and experience everything as it is examples for example you are sitting in a garden then the birds maybe uh, maybe chirping you are not blocking or choosing any particular sound to reach you but simply aware of all the sound reaching your ears at the same times you are also aware about the thought and feelings coming inside you in the meditations you don't block any experience to come to your uh, to your attention meditations in meditations you are able to control your mind the mind does not control you 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 control you in meditations you control over the mind concentration concentration cause mental tensions tiredness fatigue but meditations in contrast uh, concentrations it cause the mental tiredness fatigue etc due to the effort and activities made during this state in concentrations uh, in concentration you do the effect and activities so there is a tiredness mental tiredness and the feeling of fatigue but in meditations it offers the uh, it's relax the minds it's make the mind relax relief stress free free from stress tension concentration in concentration that is you and the object you you concentrate over the object or anything therefore in concentrations there is you and the object but in meditations there is no you and no object meditations is direct approach to the mind as we all are concentration um, meditation okay meditations means you allow the sense organs to work at their fullest and you are uh, you are able to controls and regulate the mind and its activity simples and meditations you are able to control over your mind today we have study about pranayam meditations and yogic kriya pranayam pranayam means uh, breathing exercise it is a systematic and rhythmic breathing exercise and yogic kriya yogic kriya means it is uh, we perform yogic kriya kriya for the uh, for internal internal cleaning of our body yoga uh, kriya helps in internal cleaning of the bodies like jal neti sutra neti etc and meditations meditations means ability to control 
over the mind in meditations you are able to control over the mind the mind does not control you you control your mind whatever the whatever you say the mind do because in meditations you are able to control over the mind it is a process meditation is a process of controlling and regulating the mind and its activity so it helps to stabilize the mind in a proper directions the mind is and the mind is stable and helps to free from stress tensions etc you are completely relaxed in meditation